everybody. Um, this is just a sharing of a message that came through the Crystal Advent Calendar I've been doing across on Patreon. If you follow me, you will have heard about that a little bit. Um, the link's down below if you do want to follow. Um, we've been going through a process leading up to the 1212 portal, carrying us through it, um, and then stepping out the other side, um, the new ascended reality. Um, each day there's five to ten minutes of light language and messages um, to assist in that process. It's not too late to do it if you want to. Um, and if you, you do cross over there, you, you also have access to everything else that's ever been posted there as well um, and anything else that will be if you uh, stay on there. But Basically, the message that's come through is um, I wanted to share it more widely than just the intimate group on Patreon because it feels like an important message. It's got a lot of potency behind it. Um, it feels like <laughs> the potency needs to push out further than, than my intimate group. So um, it's really just... Um, relaying the power that is now available to be harnessed and how that power and creative force is informed um, from the core of you which is connected to a brighter than ever um, a source of um, intelligence and love that's directing the ascension um, it's also some specifics for twin flames in there as well, but I feel it's relative to everybody in this reality. So we're just going to start with the crystal that I pulled for today, the 23rd, um, which is a twin flame crystal. And then um, I'll share the trans light language transmission and the message that came through. There was also a card in this one that... Um, had a message to relay as well so um, here's the transmission so I don't know if you can see that I've worked out how they fit together and that this may be a symbol symbolic for the twin flame collective but there's such one crystal um, they, they almost look like two beings with two faces holding each other I can't see through the video all the little intricacies that I can see of how they look like a couple come, have come together with little faces. It's like the two top pinnacles there are two heads. Um, and it looks like they, yeah, they should have, it's just one perfect crystal. You can't see where they're separate here, but yet they are. <laughs> Siya takati kata ko atati tapata akatati takato ko akatati takati takakasa toko ko akatati tati toko toko ko toko akatati takata ko ko akatati tati takato akatati tako akatati tato ko toko toko akatati toko to akatati tato ko akatati takakato ko ko Akatati takato ko akatata ta akatati tata kata kata akatati tata tata koko akatati tata tita kata taka kako ko to koko akatati tata taka kato koko akatati tata tati taka taka to koko akatati taka tika to koko akatati taka ta Akatati takata ta ti 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 you know, the, the place of invasion because your throat glands are like the first place where anything entering in through your mouth, um, if it's, um, it's the first line of defence where your body filters that and determines if it's something 
that should be taken into your body or not. <clears throat> and I'm seeing blue again. Um, connecting to the frequencies that are resonant and those that are not. Clearing those that are not resonant. And merging with those that are. Um, and so, of course, the crystal is... is um, when it's placed together you can see it's merged and then um, it has split into so the same essence running through both of them as they they are the one being <laughs> in two separate um, expressions a perfect fit <laughs> um, and, but it's like they've got two heads so it's like they were always designed to be one and the same um, but to also be two, two um, beings channel coming through in English for this now under the illusion of the solar resonance this um, is a way that channels often commence which basically means in the reality that we're existing in at the moment where um, there is a sun and a planet that revolves around the sun um, so this physical reality um, that our conscious and all levels of what our consciousness and unconsciousness um, is conditioned by the conditions we live under the, the, the laws of physics the universal laws that we live under in this reality so it's always starting off to reference that under the illusion of the sun and the stars there is a bright brilliant sphere of light um, beaming um, love uh, as I'm saying love I'm also seeing an intelligence you know like um, the plan the divine plan it's like a resonance that comes out that informs all vessels in the collective of their place where they fit in how their gifts fit in what the higher plan is um what the evolution is adhering to that plan is the best and fastest way forward for all of you regardless of your conscious understanding and conscious programs uh, based in your developmental learning in this realm, on this planet, in this time and space. There is stronger guidance coming through now. The beam is brighter, the beam is stronger than ever. Um, it is informing your systems more than ever. It's easier for you to pick this up unconsciously, but certain light workers and sensitives are also much more strongly understanding the messages and the plan through their conscious understanding. It's coming in through their midline um, through their energy systems it's informing their essence their being um, which I'm seeing streams of energy streaming in almost from from the void or in cranial cycle therapy we call it the long the long tide um, the the life force the creative force um, and in twin flames we call this the third energy it's um, not necessarily exactly the same but it's um, something that is accessed through the twin flame 
it's working together, coming together, the energy fields it doesn't have to be physical bodies. Uh, coming together, there's a third energy created, which um, is a higher, higher along the ray. Um, the energy comes in, it's extremely creative. Um, your thoughts and consciousness and patterns can inform, can direct where this creative force goes. Um, however, it is connected to this plan, this bright light that is informing us all through our energy systems. Um, so the power, just like the twin flames coming together, the third energy, power of that is exponentially more powerful than the individual on their own harnessing this energy. However, even individuals are accessing and directing this much more powerfully. So this is manifestation energy. So having awareness of connecting to that and how your thoughts can direct this energy positively um, based on your trust and love and unconditional love or negatively based on projections and fears from wounds that are unhealed. Just feelings being transmitted through my heart to all of you now. They want me to pull an angel answers card. Okay, I will. This is the Angel Answers card by Radley Valentine. Been telling me to pull one of these for a while. Aha! Uh -huh. It says let go. So again, letting go of the, the old, even the individual identity. Um, or any any conditioning um, which of course we're mostly unaware of Letting go of the way you think things should happen or what you think should happen or the way you think things should be. Allow this creative energy to flow through you and create that path and those next steps based on the universal intelligence that is flowing from your core. Akatati ta 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 ta. Aishakata. Okay, um, this feels like a bit of a repetitive message as we exit out through that high potency activation time of the 1212 portal. Uh, we have a new moon in Capricorn today. It's a Capricorn, yes, Capricorn, um, which is about um sovereignty and taking charge and responsibility um in an informed way um so allow the core essence moving through you um the creative forces formed uh, informed from the source and from the third energy if you're a twin flame um, let that guide you 
into all of those places that you are in sovereignty um, and in charge and also in the places where you are not and enable it to give you power empowerment where you feel disempowered blessings everybody